Hey guys, today we're going to talk about something called gynecomastia. Okay, that's man boobs and the liver. Okay, liver is involved in so many problems. This issue is an estrogen problem, but it's really a liver problem. If the liver is normally working correctly, you should not have man boobs, but it's when the liver gets compromised, whether it's a fatty liver, an inflamed liver as hepatitis, or uh, liver that's become filled with scar tissue that's called cirrhosis. That's when you start losing the ability to detoxify estrogen. And estrogen builds up, and if you have breast tissue, you have excessive estrogen. And it's not just a matter of being exposed to estrogen directly. There's something else in the environment that mimics estrogen, and that is called endocrine disruptors. Another name for endocrine disruptors is estrogen disruptors because it is those chemicals in the environment that act like estrogen. They call them EDs. And that would be things like pesticides, insecticides, herbicides, fungicides. It's in the GMO food as glyphosate, which is in almost every food right now. It's crazy. It's also going to be present in foods that have soy in them, like soy protein isolates or soy oil. It's all GMO. So avoid soy if you have this issue. So what happens in the liver is that there's a series of enzymes called phase one, phase two enzymes, which detoxify poisons or environmental poisons or, or uh, hormones like estrogen and turns them into water uh, soluble, harmless particles. Okay, that's what normally is supposed to happen. And it's supposed to clear the excess estrogen. What happens first is you have this spike in insulin because you're eating too many carbohydrates, okay, and too many sugars. And then what happens, the liver becomes fatty, it starts to develop scar tissue, and that's when you lose your ability to detoxify estrogen. And there's several additional things that can also affect that as well. Alcohol, especially if you're drinking, you know, a couple glasses of wine every night over time, that can affect the liver. Uh, certain medications, high blood pressure medications, um, high cholesterol medications, antidepressants, all have side effects against the liver antibiotics. Okay. So whether you're doing a lot of carbohydrates and sugar or these things, eventually it affects the liver and then you can't break down estrogen. Now I put a link down below for those of you that want to lower this and repair liver damage. You want to do healthy ketosis and intermittent fasting. I put a link down below of exactly how to do it step by step. Now, as far as dismantling estrogen, the key food group that does it is the cruciferous vegetables, kale, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, bok choy, radish, arugula. There's also a concentrated um, cruciferous called dim. Dim is like the most potent concentrated cruciferous out there, like two pounds of cruciferous vegetables in one tablet. And you can get it. I put a link down below for more information, but dim, is a very powerful detoxifier of estrogen. It actually helps enhance estrogen metabolism. So it, it actually gets rid of the bad and it enhances the good. So we actually have the right amount. It DIM does not have any estrogen in it. It's not a hormone and either is cruciferous. Even though it's a phytoestrogen, it doesn't add or give you any estrogen. It clears out the bad estrogen. Uh, it rids the foreign estrogens, the chemicals that mimic estrogen. So it basically detoxifies estrogen. So there you have it. If you have man boobs, focus on the liver. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you're liking this content, please subscribe now and I will actually keep you updated on future videos.